Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about dribbling, flicks and general ground play. So, the first thing I want you guys learning is the wave dash. Let's say you wave dash, like this. You put your front two wheels up in the sky and then you use your flip. So you jump, front two wheels up, flip. So you, so you flip forwards or you can do it backwards like this or you can chain them I'm not too good at chaining them to be honest but uh, you can chain them like this um, very very useful mechanic especially for like recoveries if you're on the wall you can jump off wave dash get full speed from it um, or sometimes it can be good with dribbles like touching the ball over an opponent it's, it's like an unexpected touch because you get a lot of speed from nowhere um, so wave dash is the first essential thing that I want you guys to learn also, wave dashes can be really useful when you're dribbling to like re-catch the ball or make like a, a different angle on the ball so you can get a different type of flick. Uh, wave dashes in general are just an essential mechanic to learn uh, for all kinds of mechanics in the game. Recoveries, flicks, dribbles, everything. Just getting around the pitch, rotating in general is a really important mechanic. Something else with wave dashes is also like on the wall. You can wall dash like this. Uh, I would say this is a bit of a harder mechanic to do and it's, it's not really needed in low ranks I'd say but it is really useful to learn especially it's, it's nice to rotate if you have no boost um, you can get really really speedy or you can get full speed just from wall dashing without boost um, so it is, a, it is sometimes tough to learn but if you get used to it it is really good I, I could make a whole different video on it um, but if you just look at my control overlay here you can sort of see the buttons I'm pressing you just sort of jump and you, you catch yourself on the wall really quick so you jump off the wall but you catch yourself really quick so you jump like this but then you catch yourself on the wall really quickly like this you can also do this going down as well so if you're up here you can do it going down uh, I, I like to use this mechanic um, just for, just for extra speed around the pitch. Sometimes it's really needed in high level lobbies. Um, sometimes just this extra speed will either get you a save or get, get you in front of someone to get the shot off. Um, so it can be really useful. So I would say if you're a higher rank, you definitely should learn this. So moving on to step two is dribbling and how to get a flick. I, my favorite thing to do is touch the ball, so it's rolling like that and you can get one touch like that. It's really useful if you use drifts. You can just drift, touch up, it's perfect for you. Go around it, drift, touch up, it's perfect for you. That drift gives you extra momentum, just a little bit of extra momentum that you need in the direction wherever you need to go. So drift, and then it rolls up. Go around it, drift, and then it rolls up. Um, it, this can be really useful to start your dribble. So say if like you were coming out of defense here, you drift, see it and now you're like a one-on-one -on -one to the goal and you can get whatever flick you want i will teach you how to do these flicks but for now i want you focusing on getting the touch drifting and going around it like this and obviously you can get faster at doing this using boost and things like that if you use boost the ball does go up higher like the ball chips up higher so you do have to have more control but this is a really useful thing uh, to learn when you can do it quickly like this you can also get like an extra touch to say if someone's coming to challenge you there, maybe over them and you can get a shot. Or if you wanted like a light, quick touch, you can just drift quite a lot and it should be light, perfect to control. So for now, keep learning the drift touch and the wave dashes. So now you can actually use what you've learned. You can drift around the ball, get a good touch. And now what you wanna do is get the ball on your head like this. I did say in my previous video that this is a really good thing to practice if you go into settings and unbind boost or bind it to like an air roll. If you sit in free play just trying to dribble the ball on your head and like keep it on your head and if, if you're a bit more advanced you can try flick the ball and catch it again. Uh, this is something really difficult uh, and but really really effective to learn and this will improve you a lot. But if you're already comfortable dribbling the ball, I want you doing the drift touch and then getting the ball on top of your car like this. I wouldn't recommend getting it on the middle of your car because then you can only flick straight. So your options are quite minimal when you when you have it right on the top of your car, you can only flick straight. So I would prefer if you get the ball on the side of your car 
because one side of your car is very good for a fake like a fake flick uh, but also side of your car you can get like one of the good flicks like a 45 or a 90 uh, which just makes the, it makes it so hard to read for the opponents when you're dribbling like this and then you can get a good flick over them one thing i will mention before i get onto the flicks is half flipping you really do need to half flip half flips are quite easy to learn if you stop driving a lot of people like try and learn them like this like when they're boosting and they're driving and stuff what you want to do be completely still don't hold uh, reverse or drive just hold flip and an air roll flip and an air roll so all you do is for the backwards half flip you backflip and then you air roll yourself round backflip air roll yourself round so no driving no reversing just a flip and air roll and it's the same frontwards flip and air roll so you're flipping uh, with the analog you're going whatever direction you want to go so forwards and then when you're mid-air like this, you're flipping around like that. So, like this. And then backwards as well. That's how I want you to learn it. And then when you're in game, you can usually just use this because you, when you're in game like this and, and you need to turn around, you let go of driving. You should let go of drive and reverse anyway. And then do the flip or do the flip like that. So when you are going for a flick, I, I, as I said, I wouldn't recommend the ball on the, on the front of your head, like the front middle of your head, because then you're very, very like one dimensional. You can only flick forwards, because if you flick like to the side, it'll probably just go like that, and that's not that good. Um, I will, yeah, so you definitely want the ball on the side of your car. I will say, for the side of your car, the front flip is still effective. Like, um, if the ball is on the side of your car, you can usually get some good flicks, like, uh, with it, like that. Um, and also, when the ball is like just on right in the middle of your car like this, a lot of the time you're going to miss like this, like something like that is going to happen. And when the ball is on the side of your car and you do a front flip, it's, it is unusual that that happens, especially if you have decent control of it. But with a front flip, it can definitely happen because with your first jump, if the ball is too far up on your car, the ball will just go up. So it's, it's too far up for you to even get a second hit on the ball anyway. Whereas when you jump, when it's on the side, it won't go that far up. So you should be able to get like the, another touch on the flick every single time. All right, now I'll move on to 45 degree flicks. I will say these flicks I don't find very useful. Um, I will say the 90 and the 180 are even, like more useful, even the 180. I know, I know it's like quite a rare one used these days, but it can be more effective and just harder to read than the 45. Um, but the 45 does have its benefits. It's very quick, and like if you're in a situation where you need to get a quick flick off, it is like quite good. So with the 45 degree flick, I would say it's not that useful as a shot unless you have a lot of momentum and it's more useful as a pass if you have low momentum so if you have low momentum like this and you pull it off it can either be like a pass to yourself or a pass to a teammate and then if you have a lot of momentum like this it can be useful as a shot it's not the best shot but i would say it, it can be scorable in ones i'd say it's most useful because obviously like there's no follow-up and if there is a follow-up it's probably by you anyway so and it the flick doesn't commit your position that hard like with with the 180 your wherever you land is basically like you, you have to land near the ball or it's a full full commit uh, whereas with the 45 it's not that much of a commit you usually land just in front of it anyway so it's it's got its it's got its pros it's got its cons i, I would say it's probably the second best out of the three um but as a shot i would say it's probably the worst now in between the 45 degree flick and the 90 degree flick is the Morksy flick Moxie is one of the best 1v1 players. Uh, he has this flick where you want to dribble the ball right on the end of your car and then you want to use an air roll left or air roll right, whatever direction like you're flicking, flicking the ball. Uh, use that air roll and then flick the ball so it rolls off your car like you can see here. And this flick is really, really effective. It is the best for shooting by far, so I definitely recommend learning this. Okay, and moving on to the 90 degree flick, personally my favourite, I find it the most useful in game for shots and passes. So what you want to do is it's sort of the same as the 45, you jump and you flick like that. You wait a little bit longer uh, for the 45, the 45 you sort of flick like really early 
and for the 90 you want to flick a little bit later just like this and moving on to the 180 flick this was a, a very useful flick back in the day um, it's not really used now I think it's a little bit too slow now uh, especially in, in like high lobbies this flick used to be really good and you can get some actual really good power on it especially with long cars like the Dominus and the Batmobile um, you, you can get power with other cars but it's just a lot easier to get power with those cars um, so I wouldn't say this flick is too effective these days I would definitely recommend the 90 or the Moxie flick so to do the 180 flick you need to get the ball on your head and jump in a motion like that so you do a full 180 so ball on your head, dribble forwards, full 180 and flick. I will say with the 180 flick, it's not that useful in the, on the ground anymore, but it is still useful in the air. Like if you get something like this and then you can flick it to that corner, it is really good in the air still. I will say something to utilize with all the flicks is actually a fake. Uh, it's really, really hard to read in game. Like if you get a, if you get a good touch, and then you can go for a flick and you just jump and spin your car like that. It's you, like 90% of the time you pull off the fake because it's so hard to read for defenders when someone's going like this, because you see someone drop like this, you think they're gonna flick it. And if they don't, the fake is perfect. So I would say these days, th that is completely the best way to fake in the game. Uh, so you wanna have good control, fake the flick, and then you can put it in wherever the open space is. I would like to quickly mention the turtle flick. It's not a very effective flick, but it can be quite a funny goal to hit. And this is how you do it. You want to get the timing right off when you actually jump. So if you're turtled, when you actually press jump, you need the timing right for the ball to land on you as you jump to get the flick. There's also this variation with the turtle flick. I sometimes do this in free play. I'm not actually too sure if it has a name or anything like that because I, I haven't actually seen people do this, but this is also a different variation of the turtle flick. I will also like to talk about pogos. I don't necessarily think they're a ground mechanic because obviously you use the pogo to get back into the air for like a flip reset or a shot or something. A lot of people go upside down or they bounce like off the front of their car and backwards. I find that really inconsistent for me personally, but I know it does work for others. I like to usually just use the go frontwards, use the front of my car and the, the corners of the front, either the left side or the right side. You can usually chain a few together from doing this as well because you usually pogo quite high. What you want to do to actually get the pogos is after you jump up and you start falling down, let yourself fall down so you have the falling momentum and use that momentum to bounce yourself back up off of one of the corners on the front of your car. Once you bounce back up, you can then use boost to go even higher and that's when if you have the ball, you should be able to regain control of it. And if you don't have the ball and you're just trying to chain them together, you should be able to go for another one after you've boosted a little bit. Okay, so now that you've got the drift touch, You've got all the flicks you need. Uh, now we'll move on to getting quite creative with the flicks like the breezy flick or the musty flick. We'll move on to them now. I'd say for the frontwards musty flick, a lot of the time it hits the back of your car after you jump when the ball's on your head. And this can be really, really annoying. And especially it can be like, if you have a chance and you go for this sort of thing in game, it has a higher chance of it messing up because it is really hard to learn and really hard to get this spot on. Whereas the backwards musty flick, I'd say is a lot more consistent to hit and you have a higher chance of scoring in game. It's also a lot more useful for fakes, the backwards musty flick, because if you, if you jump, you do the backflip, but then you, you jump instead of flipping. Uh, it's, it can be really useful as a fake and it does work very well. I'm not saying the frontwards musty isn't effective because it really is effective once you get it down. I'm just saying it's a lot harder to learn than the backflip musty. You should have the ball on the end of your car. So then when you actually hit the flick and you make contact with the ball, you should get a lot of power for it rolling off your car. And then once you get that down, if you get the ball on top of your head and you, you're comfortable with dribbling, the breezy flick should be simple to hit. It takes some time to be able to get some power with the breezy flick. That will take some repetition and practice, but it definitely will pay off in the end. This mechanic can be quite a slow mechanic, so you do have time to actually pull off the buttons you need to press. I have mentioned in a previous video, 
a way that you can train your car movement so you can be able to have this sort of car control with flicks and with mechanics and then once you have that movement down hit and breezy flicks should be comfortable so i definitely recommend coming into free play and just practicing this here this sort of practice will make your breezy flicks a lot easier to hit in game you really want to be doing is jumping like this so just a normal jump but move your analog and then like i shown you in my previous video if you can do a spin like this and then you can do it like this so instead of going the full way round you stop halfway and then you go under like this so you stop halfway and you go under so it should look like this and the more you practice this you should end up being able to go for a breezy and get in the flick So the way I want you to start your training is going round the ball and drifting and getting a good touch up. And once you've got the touch down and you can get the ball on your head, I want you practicing dribbling just like this where you're keeping it on your head the whole entire way round. But if you want to, you can go into settings, unbind your boost and you can train that way. It is a really effective way of training and it's very underused. Okay, so considering you can catch the ball dribble the ball round now. I want you first practicing the 45 degree flick, then you can practice the 90 degree flick, and finally if you want to you can practice the 180 flick. I wouldn't recommend this but obviously you can do it if you want. Okay so considering you can get the touch now, you can dribble and you can flick. I want you getting comfortable with wave dashes. These can be very useful for dribbles and it is something essential to learn. Now in my opinion, the most important one to learn is the Moxie flick. I'd say this flick is the best flick to shoot with in the game. So I'd say it's essential to learn because obviously you want to be scoring with your flicks and the Moxie flick is definitely the best for that. And finally, the Musty and the Breezy flick. My favorite is the Breezy flick. I just prefer going for these in game. I find them a lot more consistent. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope it helped you. Comment what other videos you would like to see me do next. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.